Hi people, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn to move the car without it being turned off. But after of all, I wanted to suggest that you look at the playlist here up with all the, tu the driving tutorials that I have done. You look at it. If you like it, then subscribe to my channel. In order to start a car, the first thing we should know is which is the combination between a little accelerator and take the clutch out slowly while keeping the troller held. Then one is pulling the clutch while one is keeping the troller held. Okay? I return and repeat the exercise. We have the clutch in the background. We accelerate a little bit and we take out the clutch smoothly. For that we have to learn to educate the foot of the accelerator. The right foot, not to accelerate very hard, nor accelerate very soft, because if we accelerate very soft, the car will be turned off, and if we accelerate very hard, obviously the car it will tear us away very quickly. Then I will explain that first. Then this little clock here, it's called the tachometer. This one here is speed Ometer. We are going to focus on this, the tachometer. It measures the turns that the engine disc is giving when we accelerate the car. If we realize when I turn on the car, good, to start the car, we know, put the first, the first change, close to the bottom and turn on the car. And if we realize, Right there, when this little clock here rolls from 0 to 1, obviously, it's because the car it is as cold. We realize this half called the car. When he warms up, give a little less, like 0 0.8. We realize this is a thousand. Then, that measures the revolutions per minute. Then, this is a thousand revolutions per minute. 2000, 3000, 4000. What is a revolution? A turn. Then that's measuring how many turns the engine disc is currently giving. That's obviously the power of the car. So, how we are going to do it? We accelerate a bit above 1. With it being above the 1, that's fine. That's perfect. We take out the clutch smoothly. And as soon as the car starts to move, we leave the clutch there. And then, when we feel that the car has already picked up momentum, about 3-4 seconds more, then we finish it off. And it's just speeding up. To slow down, what we do? Well, the same. Close to the bottom and brake gently, that's all. Well, we are going to do the exercise again for you to realize. It's quite easy to start and stop the car. Obviously, the more times we practice it, the better. Then, let's look ahead. To start the car first, close to the bottom, we turn on the car. Then, we start to accelerate smoothly above 1, as I explained right now. Above 1, obviously, if you arrive and do this, this is already a lot. I will not go beyond 1,500. There, and already, then we start. It comes out close. Comes out, it goes out. We keep the accelerator held above one. It comes out there. When the car starts to move, I leave the clutch still. I do not take it out. I do not sink it and already. That's when I pick it up momentum. Then I finish taking out the soft clutch and it's just accelerating. To break clutch at the bottom, and I break it gently, and I and I keep the brake there softly sunk. Remember that the brake sinks halfway, and the clutch to the bottom. It's clutch at the bottom, and we brake. Usually, I did it no more twice. You have to do it many times to be able to grab the practice to this. That was all for today. Comment below any questions or or concerns. You know, if you like this video, like it, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye.